All right, it's time to talk about the all Afri African Games are taking place in Rabat, Morocco. Yesterday was the opening ceremony that was on Monday 19th, although events have started uh, Friday. We saw uh, Flying Eagles in action against Burkina Faso 1 all on Saturday. We also saw uh, the four continents in action beating South Africa 3 0 and no other. But then uh, the opening ceremony was on Monday. And of course, uh, Shaq Materiola was uh, Nigeria's uh, flag bearer seeking his Olympic qualification. He was able to get, depends on how far he goes at the uh, table tennis uh, men's singles will get uh, well, tickets to the Olympics. But then the ceremony, I mean, you have uh, Nigerian athletes, all of them well dressed up and all that. As Shego Teriola, the flag bearer, marching procession across the 54 countries, yeah, taking part, uh, you know, African Games. But this year, Yemi mentioned the fact he's actually flying under the radar. Do you share his ideas? So an extent, it has been. I think uh, in my office this morning, someone said he did not know that all African Games mm -hmm. are actually holding that started. And I think... Publicity has been very poor, yeah. as it is with most of our African events on the continent. Uh, talking about uh, Uncle Shegun Toriola, <laughs> we'll have to put it that way. I think it's, I'm surprised he still wants to compete and go to the Olympics. I think he has done a lot for the game. But it's good to see if the men can actually defend their gold medal in 2015 they got in a tennis event. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, right? Toby? Uh, yeah, um, talking about um, Shegun Toriola, I think he served the country proud and um, he's, a, he's a fantastic ambassador when it comes to the, the sport. But, um, you know, he'll be up against uh, his usual Egyptian um, nemesis. So I hope he's able to uh, uh, get one uh, uh, ahead of him this time. So, uh, because they definitely would meet at some point. All right. Uh, I mean, looking at the African Games, what would be your expectation? Uh, we've, because of our preparations, we always like to keep it modest. So at the end of the day, on the medals table, uh, do you want to look at it in terms of medals or in terms of position? I think in terms of medals. In terms of medals? Yeah, because uh, we, we have to look in a few. All right. It, it has to be the medals. Obviously, when someone goes to the games, first thing you look at the table, uh -huh. and then who is at the top. Presently, Egypt are at the top. Four gold medals already from judo. We also want to start racking up that medals too. So it has to be the medals at the end of the day. All right. So let's take a look at what's going to go down today. And uh, one of my already told us that the Egyptians uh, are already doing it. So she's going to take us through uh, what we're having: rowing, beach volleyball, uh, football. Uh, Nigeria, South Africa uh, for uh, for the the men. Uh, in, in, in football, uh, the Flying Eagles are the one uh, prosecuting uh, this one. Yes, yeah, absolutely. For the Flying Eagles, their game is 1 p.m. today. Mm -hmm. For the volleyball, I think it started at 9 a.m. Uh, this morning. For the boxing, you have the men's middleweight uh, category and also the heavyweight, the 81 kg and 91, and also uh, the 69 to 75 kg. Will be, they will also be in action today. Then you also have the welterweight, the 63 and 69. And the women's welterweight also 64 and 69 kg handball. They also be in action today. Nigeria, Morocco, and Nigeria and Angola. I know everyone wants to talk about the football. Nigeria and South <laughs> Africa. And with South Africa, the uh, first game was a walkover because they came with under 23 players and all that. They had to tell them, look, this is for under 20, not your Olympic team or not. But then I'm sure they will be ready for the flight because I walk here yeah, today. They will be ready. Obviously, they didn't get the memo. Uh, which yeah, is they, they didn't get it at all. <laughs> As usual, every time Nigeria goes out to play any South African team, it's always looked at as a rivalry, even though it's not a rivalry. We expect the Nigerian guys to walk over the South African teams. But it's going to be very tough. Against Burkina Faso, they didn't look too good through that one. We know South Africans, this might be their first game at the tournament, but they want to make a statement. And our under-20 side hasn't looked very good recently from the Nations Cup to the World Cup. But we want to see them you know, putting a better performance today. They can uh, take a cue from the four colleagues, right? They yeah. beat South Africa 3-0. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, you know, the female football, Nigeria always, um, has always been um, on the forefront. But for the male football, uh, talking about the under-20 um, and South Africans just being informed that they are the ones to prosecute the tournament, how prepared are they and how strong will the selection be ahead of this um, Nigeria 20 side that just finished playing at the World Cup. Okay. All right. Before we take a look at the papers, guys, a few seconds. Let's, let's do this quickly. Where are the, where are the prospects, uh, the medal prospects? Where, 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 do we, where are we going to get our haul that you talk about, if, if we do? But where are the places you think we can pick some things up? Let, let, let's have I think off the top of my head, athletics, I think you expect that Toby Amoson should be going to uh, compete in all, all African games. She has, she's one of the best Africans in the 100-meter holders. I'm expecting her to get a good medal there, or Kagbari and the likes also. I think in the athletics should be where we get to pick the whole of our medals, and possibly maybe wrestling too. All right. But I was going to stick my neck out for wrestling as well, so wrestling and, <laughs> and football. Wrestling, you know? with, how, many play, how many wrestlers this time around? Six. <laughs> The last time was 23. 
so okay, we'll see. We'll I see. think we're having 427 athletes and officials who have the second largest contingent. I'll see if the contingent can actually bring right, right, all the medals right, we want in 23. <laughs> <laughs> 23 is for 427 athletes and officials. Okay, we'll wait and see. Papers now, Amy, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So let's start off with uh, Sporting Sun. Okay, Sporting Sun here. And Chukwezi says, I want to be African king. What's the meaning of his name? Chikweze. Uh, Chikweze sounds like God. Eze is king. So I understand that. God king or something like that. Mark king. Yeah, it's, 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 it's God quality. Look at it, yeah? It's God quality. It's got <laughs> immense talent. And um, it's someone that can go all the way if he keeps his head down. Mm -hmm. Right attitude, Stay right. Stay away from controversies. Yeah, yeah. Work hard. And I, and I, I and believe you me, he might play for Real Madrid one day. All right. Can, can he get to be named African Football of the Year at some point? Yeah, definitely. If he, if he stays there, he, he, he should be named um, Africa's best young player this year. He's, I think he deserves it. Yeah, absolutely. He's not that young player. Thing. All right. <laughs> no, I think he has a word at his feet the way he's played. We saw that goal he scored at the weekend yeah. against Granada. Very, very good goal. And I expect to see more goals for him. I think for a player who plays on the wings, uh, the moment he begins to chip in more goals, people get, tend to pay more attention to him. And I think if he improves that side of his game more, Obviously, the bigger teams are going to come running for him. So that's a Nigerian prospect that can win us the CAF Player of the Year. Definitely. Yes, at the moment. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted you to say that. All right. We're still on a sporting zone here. This FIFA ban, NFL lawyers rally to save Siasia is here. I mean, you have this is obviously on complete sports, so you have to react to that from there. And Barcelona plots new Neymar beat. Let's talk about this one before we quickly go to this NFL. Neymar, I know if we start, we won't finish, but guys, make it quick so that we can talk about the NFL and something Siasia. Toby, what's, what's just going on? What's well, going it's, on? It's, it's, it's shocking. You know, uh, uh, Barcelona sold Neymar, brought in Coutinho, Dembele, and Malcolm. Now they've sent the away Malcolm, them. sent away Coutinho. Now they want to bring back Neymar to replace them. And it just shows what football has turned to. Neymar was not even listed for PSG in the last two games. And they are struggling, Sissi. They are really struggling. They, they, need, they need help. They need help. But if they let him go to Barcelona, it's a plus for Barcelona. But for PSG, I don't know. A huge minus. Now, right. okay, quickly, I mean, Barcelona, you mentioned that they've actually allowed these players to go. Messi, the first game he didn't start, they struggled. Suarez is injured. It's going to be a lengthy injury. Mm. You have in the middle also five out weeks. for like five weeks. Mm, yes. Now, you don't have Neymar yet. What's happening? It's going to be a struggle for them. But the thing is this, PSG wants to buy a replacement when they sell Neymar because they need someone with that quality to come and replace, to be replacing the team. Barca are saying, wants to look at a loan option. How do you get Neymar without the money? And it looks like Juve now are in the mix to get Neymar. They want to send the ballad the other way and bring in Neymar. So it looks like Juve are in the forefront, even ahead of Barcelona. All right. Okay, so let's do the last paper uh, quickly. A lot of interesting uh, stories there, complete sports, Tuesday edition. But let's talk about this story. LFF to review FIFA live ban on CS. I thought you were going to say, from the details, it did wrong. From the details, it didn't do anything. That's what I'm expecting. Not to tell me that you are reviewing. It, it gets, it's becoming more confusing. But no, let me have your thoughts. It feels like a merry-go-round. It feels exactly. like NFL. I'm not really sure what is going you on. Just here. tell me. I think, or look at the facts and be sure. Has it done wrong or not? Like you said, and let's know where I'm going for from here. Review. I don't know. It seems like the normal dance around NFL. Exactly. Mm -hmm. so I, I have to agree with one It was spot on. Uh, the worry for me came when I set up a press conference and it didn't <laughs> show, show up. You know, it just showed that there was something really wrong. And then the well, pictures. He sent someone. He sent Why wouldn't he show up? It's, it's too important for him not for him to, not to show up. It's kind of to. risky for him to actually start talking to the press the, when his you have a live team ban. Told him not. He shouldn't yeah. have said, set, set, set it up in the first place. You know, because people need to hear from you. You know, then there were rumors of maybe he didn't hear about the the investigation. Then we. Saw um, pictures of two letters that yeah, were sent, sent to him, to him. and he, he, we heard he didn't respond to them. So it, there's something wrong. And you know, talking about Nigerian football and our national teams, we know how the how, how, how the business goes there. How you need to, you might need to sort in to get a player to play for the national teams. So it, these things have always been in the in the horizon, and it will be very, very unfortunate if Cesar is indeed guilty. All right, I, I, I guess we will take the discussion out of the studio because we're pressed for time. We have to leave. Onome, I want to thank you for your time on the show yeah, uh, today. Being here. Toby as well. I want to thank you uh, for your time on the show. I want to thank you as well for allowing us to be a part of your day. We enjoy this, and of course, we're going to do it again tomorrow. I'm Emir Bye bye now. Absolutely, Have a good day.